Hey, it's Therese and I've got my SIBO test results back. So I wanted to go over them and um, just explain a little bit about what's going on. So here are my test results. And generally you will get, um, this is a breath test. So each of these dots represent a breath. So I breathe into this little device. This is called a, a what's it called? Food marble. So I bought the whole tester so that I could do breath tests whenever I need to. And it's about the same price as getting one breath test if you order them from um, the clinic. So I ordered the breath test. I took the SIBO test and every 15 minutes I breathe into here and it records the methane and the hydrogen. Uh, sorry, the methane. It records the hydrogen and the methane. Yes, I was right. Um, in the gut and as it's going through the digestive system. So... Um, this is tracking it as it's going through into the stomach, the gut, through this small intestine, through the large intestine, and then out through the colon. And so typically there is like one hump, as that would be normal. Two humps is SIBO. So I'm still presenting with some um, imbalance of methane and hydrogen. And we're going to keep working on that. However, there are just some other factors that are making this um, really quite interesting. One being that I've come to this from car the carnivore diet, which is mostly meat, which is very rare to see that kind of results. And second, um, I've done the elemental diet for uh, a fair length of, of time. And so uh, we're not going to panic about these results right now. We're going to just stay status quo and stay... Uh, introducing foods, not going back to the elemental diet, and just kind of seeing where the gut settles out over the next few weeks. Uh, but in the meantime, I can use this device to see how I am responding to the foods that I'm eating. So it can test, test the fermentation level in my gut. So I'm going to take a test now, and I'll show you um, how I do it um, through my phone. So I'll get this going. So it's just going to warm up here and um, as it's warming up it will tell me when to take a breath in. Um, so this is going to tell me how my breakfast went down. So I had mini quiches for breakfast and this is going to tell me um, the response of that food in my gut and if it's causing fermentation or if it's not or, or what it's all going on. Uh, I am using this food marble and all of the other fancy features that I have as a tool and not a weapon. So typically when we're, um, we get gadgets and things like that and start using them, they can morph into being weapons. So even my aura ring can be a weapon, not a tool. If I um, focus on it too much and just and magnify symptoms and just spend too much energy on that. So I'm changing my perspective and using these as tools and just little windows of information, but not being hypervigilant and not like really um, spending too much time magnifying symptoms and things like that. I'm going to take this data over a period of time, so over the next few weeks, to see how things are adjusting in my body, not making any sudden moves in the meantime if things aren't quite exactly what I want them to be. That's totally okay right now. I have time. Um, because my main focus is my DNRS, uh, so the dynamic um, neural retraining of the brain, that's my most important thing right now. And so these other things that I'm doing with food introductions, using the food marble, using my aura ring, using the ozone, which I'm going to do another video on ozone therapy, uh, are all tools and just little help mates for along the way. Um, so that's where I'm going to try and focus, not being super, super focused diligently on these tools and getting overwhelmed with the results. Um, they're just little insights. So we're almost ready. Um, so once all the lights are lit up, um, then it'll be ready to go and I can do a little breath test for you and get the results right away so we can see how breakfast went. So it's ready to go. So I'm going to hold it down for three seconds and hold my breath in the meantime. And five seconds, I breathe into it, and I'm high. Okay, I'm, so I'm high. That's okay. I'm going to keep that in to just record that and, and we'll go from there. I'm not going to get stressed out about it, even though it's bright red and it's all like, oh my gosh. It's okay. 
it's okay. It's going to be okay up here and I'm not going to stress about it. So that was my a test that I will be doing um, over the next number of days um, in the mornings, checking and seeing how my gut is responding. So food marble, that's what this is called, is food marble. And it's about the same price as if you if I was to order this test from a clinic, except now that I can do it anytime I want. So um, that's really, really helpful. All right. Okay. Take care. Good to see you. Bye-bye now.